I can taste something bitter in the sweetness There's an ache in my lungs cause I'm not breathing I break myself to pieces, test my patience Craving just a little validation When will I start feeling like I'm good enough for you? Hi and welcome back to another vlog. Um, today's video is going to be about my Fendi baguette collection. Um, these bags I have sourced over the past 10 years and they are all um, from the noughties and nineties which um, is some of my favourite periods in fashion. Um, I particularly love the baguette probably because Carrie Bradshaw um, used to carry it in Sex and the City and there's that infamous scene where she gets held up and um, the guy goes give me a bag and she goes no sir this is a baguette and it is it's a totally different bag even though it's a, a baguette um, it's a very unique um, piece and it's kind of a the time when I really fell in love with fashion as a teenager and it was always an aspiration to own these pieces. So when I was able to, I started to source them and try and find them. Um, obviously, um, Fendi have kind of relaunched the bag um, and they've changed the shape. They've made it a little bit more uh, robust and harder, like the handle. Um, I don't have one to show a comparison. I've only got vintage ones. Um, but you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful bag and so unique. And you know, each one is completely different to the other, so you can't really get bored of them. Um, so I think I'll start with my very first one. Um, this was the first one I got. It's um, the Mama Baguette. I actually got this as a gift um, from my mum for a birthday present. This was in the noughties when I got this one. So this I had from the start um been quite well worn um i have to say i did a bit of a share from clueless or you know blair waldorf and i did used to wear it to school which i know was a bit ridiculous but i loved this bag um so it was a school bag at one point but it was um yeah it's amazing um as i said it's a little bit more worn but you know it's just the signs of love. I also have it in the regular size um, baguette, but I can't find that one right now. Um, but that was also around that kind of period that I got that bag too. Then I didn't buy any f for a, a, a long time um, because the, 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 the beaded sequin ones were so, so expensive and they were just out of my price range. So when I was able to, I bought one. Um, the only thing is by the time I was able to they were not so popular so I had to source vintage ones so this brings me to my very first vintage one. So this is a pink sparkly mama baguette. Um, Carrie Bradshaw had um, one that she wore in the scene where she's at Aiden's um, shop it's not the same, it's more of a bubblegum pink and the beading is different on it. But I always wanted a pink sparkly mama baguette. And I got one. Um, this was in immaculate condition when I got it. Um, it still is. I take very good care of them. I treat them like my children. Um, it's got, you know, brown leather here and here. And then inside you've got the fuchsia pink silk lining. Um, and it was just a really, really special piece to me because it was the first one that I was able to buy. And it was a really exciting moment that I finally bought a pink sparkly Fendi baguette bag. Um, then the next one I bought was um, a mini baguette. So this little uh, silver leather one with... Um, I think it's python um leather uh, strap and this is do you know it's so useful you know it's got the pale pink lining which is beautiful it has probably been the most used one of 
all of them <laughs> apart from the one that I showed you to begin with my very first one um it fits my phone in it fits my credit card and the lipstick it doesn't hold very much but it's perfect on a night out I always travel with this bag because it goes with every outfit it's kind of I don't know if you can see it's silver but it's got like a sort of rose gold kind of tinge to it um which is really beautiful so depending on the light that it catches but it it's just such a useful bag and just love it um then the next one i bought and this is another it was another special moment for me was this um black sparkly one i mean the sparkly ones are my favorite um they just are I don't know they're just something so special so this one was really you know it took me a long time to find as I said I've been collecting these over the space of probably 10 maybe even 12 years um so I don't come across them that often but when I do and I find a good one I, I like to buy ones that are in you know mint condition I don't really like to buy them if they're too well worn I mean they're still expensive and you know you still want to Although I love them, I want to know that it's in good condition. So it feels really almost like getting the new one. But this one is super useful. I do use this one quite a lot as well because um, it's black and again, goes with everything. Um, this has got the skin lining and then uh, black satin on the inside. And then the strap matches the flap here. So they're just all the details on it, like even the beading, I don't know if you can see, but you know, you've got the beading here with the longer sequins and then this very tiny beading here. There's so much detail that goes into these bags. Um, that's what makes them, you know, so beautiful. Then, then I got the next two sort of similar time. My mum doesn't get this one, but again, I love this one. It's this knitted one. It's so beautiful. Um, it's like like a little bobble knit and it's, I just love it. It's got like pale pink um, satin lining, uh, brown leather strap, and it's just this really, again, such a unique bag and I get so many compliments when I do wear these. And this one's quite a good, um sort of more casual bag so i'll probably put this on with jeans and jacket and and i wear this one reasonably a lot um you do have to be careful because it can you know get damaged um but it's yeah it's another one of my favorites i mean they're all my favorites um then um my next one um i think was this green um uh, sequin one now this actually they did one um similar in a pink which i really wanted in that candy pink which i've never been able to find but this is really really beautiful again it's got the brown leather um and then i get to match like the black one the leather here matches here um Again, a really not a special piece. And then like the black one, you see the beading slightly changes. And and you can wear this with jeans. I mean, I do like a jeans and a white t-shirt and this just kind of dresses it up. If you want to stick on a pair of heels and not get too dressed up, it's a really, you know, fun way of dressing. Um, then probably the last one that I bought was, um, this one it's really really delicate um i've not really worn it much but as you can see it's it's silver and gold sequins with um a crystal clasp and then you've got the skin here on on here and then inside it's purple silk so each you know you can't predict how each one's gonna you know be but you have to be so careful with the sequins because they really rip off really easily um like on the back here unfortunately 
there's a little bit of damage which I'm really upset about um, but there's not much I can do it just yeah um, so I don't use this one very much it's just more to look at I have to say so it's just on display to look at and it's like a little disco in my house when I, I feel like it. <laughs> um, one thing I will say is these bags are, you know, they are something so unique. So if you do have one, treat them with a lot of care and respect and love. And if you are ever thinking of getting rid of one, DM me, cause I might be interested. <laughs> because I'll never stop collecting them. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's um, video um, and stay tuned for more of my archive. Bye.